Hello from Belfast Lock. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. So I'm in the Starbucks Mandela Square in Glasgow and I got in a little bit ago on the Caledonian Sleeper. I've got some time to kill and uh, I'm going to enjoy a nice mug of hazelnut latte to keep me going for a while. I have a couple of hours to spend in the heart of uh, central Glasgow, so why not come to Buchanan Street and do a wee bit of shopping? I have a little less time than I thought. I've only about an hour left, thanks to Starbucks. Hello from Glasgow Central Station. This is the start of my sail rail journey to Belfast in Northern Ireland. I'm about half an hour early for my 11.34 train. It says that it's on time. This is for air, isn't it? No problem. Big crowd. Thanks a lot. No problem. Thank you. That was part one of the sail rail extravaganza. Part two is going to be in that bus over there. Or do we say coach? I don't know. I don't think I've been in a train that was quite as packed as that in years. <laughs> uh, but everyone's so excited because the weather is so good. They're all excited about getting to the beach. So what you going to do? Enjoy yourself. Hiya, how you doing? So that was part two of the sail rail drama. Let's see which bit is next. So whenever we arrived, we had to check in and everybody got hold of one of these kind of barcode tickets after check-in. You kind of swap your um, rail style ticket to get one of these. Um, and then you come through into a secure area. You can come outside where people can enjoy a drink or if, you, if they smoke, they can uh, pop outside and have a cigarette. Or you can wait inside in the kind of air conditioned or warmed area. So about a half an hour's wait and then um, we should be boarding. That's our craft. Hiya. Could I get a wee ticket for the Hugger Lounge, please? No, I don't. Perfect. Thanks a million. Hiya. I was able to buy the last seat in the Hugger Lounge. But I'm also the first one in, so I got my pick of seats. I like this dark corner the best for snoozing.
That departure was so smooth, I barely noticed it. Oh. I'm hoping the rest of the crossing is just as smooth. The captain has promised it will be, so... It's better than going in the middle of a November storm. Okay, back to the Hugger Lounge and uh, have a little snooze. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate your attention. After just one wee nap, suddenly you've left Scotland behind and Ireland is just a hop, skip and a jump. Like a skipping stone across the Irish Sea. Come on, let's head on. What a beautiful way to see Belfast Loch and the Irish Sea glimmering in the sunshine. Too often when I've taken this route it's been a little dark or a little dour and while that has its own beauty it's nice to be here on a warm day too. I've been pretty lucky with all of my transport connections over the past 48 hours. Everything's been pretty smooth and comfortable. I have to say, this particular ferry crossing lulled me to sleep in the Hugger Lounge. Though, to be frank, it wouldn't have taken much after a shortish sleep on the Caledonian sleeper last night. Uh, still, I'll take that. You have to take sleep where you can when you're an elderly gentleman. Thanks for being here on Planet Patrick. Do subscribe for additional content and click on the bell for notifications. And if you like following things live as they're happening, you can follow me on Instagram if you'd like. Thanks very much for being here for this episode. Take care and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye bye. I'm trying to straighten you up a bit. Sorry, my life. Aha! I spies Ireland, I do. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. <laughs>